and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video I'm going to show you uh, the gear I use for photographing schools, which is uh, my main uh, job uh, right now at this time of the year and will be for the next uh, two or three months. Uh, we are at a school now, uh, Copenhagen City School it's called, and um, it's a bit unusual and I will show you why in just a second. So first up, we have the, the group set up. Uh, usually we have uh, some more space than this, but uh, if we begin over here, I got a row of chairs here that uh, the first row they can sit then stand in the between and then stand in the back on some smaller chairs. Uh, as you can see, the background is not even. It's just, well, it is what it is, uh, but this is what this uh, school likes and, uh, and it's probably the best room to do this in. So uh, sometimes we do this uh, outside, outdoors, uh, on some schools and uh, on other schools we have much more uh, room than, uh, than this. And if, if we have uh, the space to do it, we put up a white uh, background, a white backdrop, uh, which is a lot taller also than this. So I can shoot at a, a more uh, wider angle, uh, angle uh, or uh, get further back than I can here, because if you see here, Already here, we have the camera, so I'm not more than maybe seven, no, no, not that much, five meters away from the first row. But that's that's uh, the possibilities that are here. In terms of lighting, I'm using this uh, QS1200 II from Godox, uh, 1200 watts seconds, but I'm only at 116th of a power. Uh, I have a shoot to umbrella that I shoot up into the, the roof to get some uh, some images without uh, with good lighting but without any harsh uh, shadows uh, and this works quite well. Uh, usually I'll have the lamp uh, higher up uh, and have a reflecting uh, umbrella instead, a big one, but there's not room for this here so this is the setup for this tight space. The camera is my D850 with a trigger and a 24 to 70 mil uh, lens, which is quite versatile and uh, yeah, it's not too bad. But I'm at 28 millimeter or something, so that's 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 a problem. But that's what is possible here. So that's it. Uh, I'm a Fro Manfrotto um, tripod and my Sunway Photo. Um, um, L bracket for this camera. So over here, I've set up a desk with uh, the most important thing of all, which is my coffee cup. Um, computer, where the, all the files are, all the names and of, of all the pupils and uh, teachers and so on. Uh, all the papers they need to have, my bag is up there. Uh, the camera, let's start with that. Uh, my set six with a um, 70 to 200 mil lens, and again, Godex trigger. And I put this on a very old Wilburn tripod uh, that I came by, uh, I bought with some other stuff. I was going to sell it, but yeah, it works just fine. So why not use it? <clears throat> Up here, the main light, which is, which is the Godox uh, AD 400 Pro uh, with a um, power, um, attachment, I don't know what it's called, this power plug so I can plug it in uh, instead of using the battery. Uh, and this works quite nice. Um, on a light stand, of course, the diffuser, the, the um, I don't know, what is it called? This one. <laughs> it's a softbox, uh, almost round with a diffusion panel and then I use the grid and I do that because I want to um, I don't want uh, to spill the light all over the place. I want it quite directional uh, towards the person. Uh, and this helps me so I can uh, keep the power low and therefore have uh, shorter recycling times on everything. I hope you can hear me for all the kids. The chair the person is sitting on, reflector on the side of that uh, to reflect the light from the main light. And then we have the background, which is a... Uh, let out a bit. Turn this down. So, which is a uh, Manfrotto uh, highlight background with two lights, one on each side, which is uh, 
Godox XK, I think it's called, yeah, SK400 uh, on each side. You can see the other one is over there. And um, yeah, this is a setup that I quite like. It seems to me that it's stable uh, in terms of color, in terms of uh, speed. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just nice, nice. And since I'm running on such low power, uh, I shoot both cameras at ISO 400 because there's no reason not to. Uh, nowadays, the cameras are so good in terms of ISO handling, so this works fine. And um, yeah, so this is just nice. You can see the rest of the room. There's enough space here for people to wait. And uh, so, yeah, the only problem here is that the ceiling is not very high. So, but it's okay. It works. I'm happy. And uh, yeah, let's shoot some kits. Or no, not shoot some kits. Photograph some kits. So, so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video about the school photography. Uh, this is how I do things. Uh, there's uh, different ways to do it, but but this company that I work for needs uh, the white background and uh, and uh, which they get. Let me get the focus straight here. Um, oh, sorry about that. So that's better. Um, and uh, yeah, well, I'm quite happy with it. It's easy to work with and. Uh, the low power settings and, and so on. The only problem is that I'm on the fourth floor and I need to carry all these uh, things up um, on the stairs. There's no elevator, no nothing. So that's a bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Um, I've stopped sweating now, so it's okay. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, stay tuned for some more photography videos uh, next week and uh, have a nice day. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to and any comments are welcome. Thanks for watching. Bye.